<coughs> Good day to you. I am dressed like fall because it feels like fall and I am chilly. It's kind of early. It's 8.18 Pacific Standard Time. Um, today's a rad day. It's been up for probably two hours. Got to sleep in a little bit. It's chilly. I slept a lot better than I did the night before. Anyway, 1919. Hi, Grandma. Let's see my grandma was born in 1919. Every now and again, I get to see it on the clock and think of her. She is with me. She's always with me. I saw some video someplace, and it's like, grandparents die they they don't go away they just turn invisible and that's pretty much how it is so I like words I think they're important communication it's very very important and yesterday was a fine example of that it's about I don't know it was late in the evening the sun is like eight. It was later in the evening, almost nine, because when I went over to talk to the neighbors at nine, see if they got the same air warning. Um, I live in Salem, Morgan, capital of Oregon. Like I freaking every. If you've seen other videos, you tell me to hear me talk about the freaking exorbitant prices of just water. In a state where it rains four months out of the year, you think that they would have other viable solutions that they wouldn't just put all their eggs in one Detroit reservoir. But what happened is, is there's this algae that films on the top of it, and there's a whole process between water and evaporation and the sun that happens, and uh, it's a whole ecosystem. So when it's covered with this green slime that could, you know, <clears throat> seems like there's an awful lot of state employees that could have just got some freaking boats and some pool cleaners gone out there and, and cleaned up some of that extra algae as preventive maintenance, but <clears throat> these are things that aren't considered. I wonder why I can't get a job and all the fucking dumbasses are employed. That good old boy club. Anyway, so uh, I guess in the spirit of accuracy, I should find out. I should have had it done. I fucking accidentally deleted the post on Instagram where I blasted them. There's another one that I posted shortly after because it was right after I got this error message I found out that Salem water and sewer rates might jump up 10 to 11 percent. My water bill, I, it's me and my mom. Two people. On a budget. Our water bill is like 80, 90 bucks a month. We don't use that much water. I live next to a stream. I wish I could figure out, but it's lower, so I wish I could figure out how to use that stream just to water my freaking garden. That would help alleviate the cost in itself. It's just weird. So, I'll, so they send out this emergency civil warning error to the say, to the local area, and don't drink the water. This ain't even like Flint, and I've been thinking about Flint since Flint happened. I mean, this is like natural. This isn't just like gross infrastructure and freaking shit water mixing in with your fucking drinking water. But it's just, it's weird. And so like, these, this, this local store to, you know, when you, your prices for like cheese and, or eight, like basic need stuff is freaking three times what it is in other places and you cater to the people that you yeah I don't wonder why you support the wonderful people of the city of Salem for their nonsense because they're your clientele fucking stupid I won't shop there anyway because you got plenty of water for sale what about the fucking poor people that can't get out of their houses to get to the store to get water just to try, or that don't even have cell phones that don't get your stupid emergency warning what about that? What about them? Empathy is it's lost its way in society because greed has taken the place of empathy. It's just, 
just I just watch. So I get this error message and I went next door because I know technology and I know IT people and they're fucking lazy. A lot of everyone I worked with, so I'm sure, you know, maybe not every IT person is lazy and you got some of you guys got some ambitions. I just haven't met you. So when I speak in terms of generalized statements, it's the majority of the people that I've come across I've talked about. Like, you know, I mean, I, the argument can be made because I... I mean, the people can make arguments however they want. The way I see it is if there's a paradigm that really hasn't done a whole lot to improve my life, I ain't for it. And now it's the time to put stuff on blast and I see people all over the place, you know, turn the other cheek. You know, don't, don't, if you can't say nice, don't say anything at all. All of these, these things, all of this silence and nonsense is what got us into this situation to begin with. Yeah. It's because people became subservient, men and women too, and quiet. And we got controlled for too long and that, all that's changing. And, 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 you know, government, when is the last time local or federal or on any level that you said something that was actually fucking true? Yep. Mm -hmm. It was actually true. I remember, I mean, I don't know, it just seems like hearing how, like, were we just duped the whole time that, like, the people, you know, that told us that about the golden rule and all that stuff, they're just shady shysters and we just have been manipulated this whole time. But then you have people like me that are energetic sensitives that read right through the fucking words, that bullshit words that you say because we feel what your body and your soul are truly meaning. <coughs> So don't drink the water in Salem, Oregon. And the funny part about that thing is, is, is that the levels, the neighbor said this, that levels, because they have kids under six, because it's not good for, and I'd store my, I've stored water, so we'll be okay for a few days. Um, I'm going to go find a natural spring if I need to. I ain't tripping. Um, that comes from a different store, for, source from Lake Detroit because I have this knowledge and know-how to take care of myself under any sort of circumstance because I don't count on anybody. I don't count on my local government to make sure that I have things like water. But I sure do feel bad for all those other people that do. Oh, and boiling it doesn't help. So I even went to the EPA page and read up all about it. What we're dealing with and yeah, it could have been avoided. They let off the stream when I in, in my video yesterday. I talked about how loud it got. That was freaking runoff in the stream. The stream rose about five six inches in a very it like it was like flash flood, and I was baffled. I even told my friend in the message. I was just like, it hasn't rained in almost a week, and all the the creek rose like that. And that's the we're probably freaking runoff from the the reservoir to stir it up to get all the stuff that's hidden under the algae that. It's probably extra algae from all the shit that they're spraying in the sky, but whatever. I can't get an answer to what that stuff actually is. Nobody knows what their local government allows to spray in our breathing air. So anybody else come into their mission yet? Because I know what mine is. Just blast out ignorance. Ignorance. And I will be wrong. I'm, all, I'm wrong. I'm human being. People are wrong. That's the time. That's what. That's what. That's where the pudding is right now. That's how you can determine the person that you are. Is if you are wrong in life, you are have the ability to make that right. Everybody does. But you sit and you're wrong. Things are gonna get hard for you. Um. So. I'm chilly. It's 100 degrees in the Midwest. And it just stops, but it's only been three weeks since it snowed. So, yeah, that's different, isn't it? Um, oh, I was going to mention this for you wine drinkers. <clears throat> Bad news about, what is it? What is that wine? That's the region in France, Bordeaux. 
got pummeled. It's not going to be a good year for the 2018 Bordeaux France region wines. They got pummeled by pigeon size eggs. So a lot of freaking sad vineyards and wine drinkers in the France region. I guess you're going to have to spend your money on something else. Um, there's some poor people in Salem, Oregon that could use some bottled water. but I got a truck I could deliver it, so I don't know. I got all these ideas to help people, and I still see these freaking videos climbing up of freaking dumbasses sliding down freaking slipping slides on fish guts. Whatever, dude. I hope y'all have a rad day. My, rad, my roses are happy today. They're extra pretty and orange, too. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.